Hi, my name's Dave. Welcome to the 32-foot motorhome. We're going to take you on a quick tour so you can see exactly what it's all about, get a good feel for it. This is a 32-foot motorhome. It's a Class A motorhome. What does that mean? Well, that means it's not a Class C, basically, and a Class C would be something that is more of a minivan type of front end on it or a mini truck or a van front end. This is its own self-contained unit. It is a 32-foot unit. Actually, 31 and a half feet long. We like to call it the 32 because it basically rounds to that. But you can get an idea. This is a nice machine. It is 31 and a half feet long, about uh, eight and a half feet wide. So it is plenty good size. It's called a Hurricane. And you, as you'll see when you get inside, there's a lot of room in this unit. This is a 2,000-year model. It's a Ford V10. It's a gas engine. It's not diesel. So it is a gas and the engine is up front. And we're going to take you inside. You can take a look around get a feel for it. If you've never driven a motor home, don't worry about that. It's no problem at all. We'll tell you and teach you everything. We spend a little bit of time with you and show you exactly what it is that you need to do. Let's go on inside. Real easy to open the door here. And then just to come on in. The step comes out for you when you open the door. And you can see we'll be inside in just a moment. And here we are. Walk inside. You can see the couch. We have seat belts for eight, which means that eight people can legally be in this unit while it's moving. As long as there's a seat belt for you, you're good to go. It will sleep six total. Over here, you can see this is the driver's area here. There's the seat. They are all captain's chairs, which means that you can put the arms down if you want to, leave them up. And you can see here it's an automatic. It's got cruise control. It's got uh, fans up front, and it's uh, very easy to drive. There's the fans I was telling you about. There's one on each side. There's one there as well as one there. If you need to blow the fans, if you want to do that, not a problem. Uh, mirror out the side there. We have a little uh, hookup area there for a GPS if you want to bring a GPS along and uh, hook up there you can. Uh, sound system. We do have a sound system here. It's a CD player with an AM FM and it's got great sound. You can see these big speakers up on front there up on the, on the top and uh, it, it turns out some really good sound so you'll enjoy that. Uh, up here, cabinets, you can see that uh, plenty of space to store all your stuff. As you go through you'll get an idea that there are lots and lots of places to store your things. 19 inch color television here with a hook up to the uh, antenna. It's got a digital box for it as well as a DVD player. So you can watch DVD. That center console piece there is, uh, we just keep the remotes in there for the TVs and of course, you can put change in there and your coffee cups while you're going and everything else. One of the most beautiful things about this unit is looking out. I mean, when you're driving this thing, uh, I mean, you are in command of the road. You're basically sitting at the same height as a tractor trailer driver. You will be looking over and seeing them as you uh, go by them or they go by you. And uh, you can see that uh, it is a commanding view and just beautiful out the front. We're based in Florida. And you can see there that uh, it's a good look out the front windshield. Now, uh, storage. Plenty of storage. A lot of cabinets like this. You can see that you can store a lot of things. And there are a lot of cabinets as you look back. Got a hat rack, uh, hat hooks up there. These lights are all throughout the coach. You can turn on one, you can turn on two, or you can leave them both off. That's up to you, however you want to operate that. Window screens are pretty much the same. They can come down to dark for night. They can go to white, like a, like a white to let the sun in that we're doing right now. Or you can move the whole thing up and make it uh, open all the way. Here's a chair here as you first come in. Again, there's the front. And as we look back, you can get a good sense of uh, what the unit is. More lights up top. You can see the ducting here. This unit is fully ducted for heating and air conditioning, so it's basically like an apartment on wheels. Here you have more cabinetry up there, a clock. Up here you have a uh, vent in the roof. Gets a little warm in here and you don't want to run the AC maybe for the whole unit. You can just open those and uh, let some air in or out. This folds down into a bed. Okay, This couch does. It's a large couch behind the driver. Or uh, this over here also folds down into a bed. This is the uh, uh, dining area which that table will fold flat and then the cushions line up back to back and it becomes a bed as well. Sink here we have full running water, hot and cold running water in the unit. 
Here we have a microwave. Microwave oven works. It's, uh, it's uh, a nice touch. If you want to cook something here, you can do that. And in here we have the stove, of course. This is a, a cooktop stove as well as an oven. So all of it's covered here. And uh, you can see there that it's, it's all propane operated. The propane tank is on board. You can see here also it's very simple uh, mechanism for uh, operating the heating and the air conditioning. It's pretty much like your home. You've got a sliding scale over here. You just set the thermostat where you want it, turn the heat or the cool on, and the AC will come on or the heat will come on. This is a panel here which shows you what your levels are. We'll explain all that to you, how that works when you pick it up. Over here, a nice refrigerator, lots of room in here, lots of room in the fridge, and lots of room in the freezer. And uh, you know, I mean, it's 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 plenty for a vacation. You'll have lots of lots of uh, places to store things as well. In here, this is a closet, and you can see that inside this closet, plenty of hangers and uh, things of that nature to be able to uh, put all your stuff in there. Back in the back, a queen bedroom. This is queen, and you can see more storage and more mirrors. The windows over here are on that white setting that I told you about. But again, if you want to, all you need to do is to lift this, and this goes up and stays up, and then what you have is you have your window open, and then your windows can slide open as well. Now, up here, TV in the back as well. So plenty of room for your TV. And more storage, like we say, in back here, yet another uh, screw. Privacy uh, screen here for you if you're back in this area. And also, head into the bathroom, you can see that the bathroom door opens and doubles as a privacy screen for the, um, uh, for the bedroom. So looking in here, here we are in the bathroom. Again, hot, cold, running water. You're fully contained here, so you have uh, uh, lots of uh, tank storage. So you can uh, you have a fresh water tank, you have a gray water tank, you have a black water tank to hold uh, all of your, uh, uh, your liquids while you're on the road. This is the shower. You can see the shower has a skylight, which makes it very nice. There's the shower, and again, a light in the shower as well. Nice bathroom. Toilet, uh, very easy to operate. If you've never used one of these before, it's very simple. We'll explain it all to you. Works very well. So, that's a look pretty much at uh, what our unit is. It is the 32 foot motorhome. As you can see, it's a bus on wheels here. You can have a lot of fun in this unit and have a great family vacation. Or tailgating, or just partying, or just having fun. It's up to you. We'd love to have you have it, and uh, come on out and uh, give it a try. So thanks again. If we can answer any questions for you, let us know. Write us an email, and we hope to have you here in our unit. Thank you.